What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have another retro model review for you guys. Today we have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the bowling shoe livery. I hope you guys are excited for today's retro model review. This is a beautiful model by Gemini Jets and they did an outstanding job. Super excited to jump into Northwest Airlines as well and talk about their Boeing 757 aircraft and how big of a part they were for the fleet. I hope you guys are excited for today's video and without any further delay let's get started with the box Alrighty, so here we go with the box. So of course you got the older early 2000s themed box. These are really cool and I always really enjoy uh, taking a look at these and how unique they are. So of course you got that like cinematic, cinematic excuse me, type uh, debut right here. We have the uh, background right there with the limited edition die cast model, one to 400 scale, Northwest Airlines Boeing 737-200, the beautiful picture of the aircraft on the box and a nice stroke around the picture too, which is really cool. Boeing 737-200, the older Northwest uh, logo right here, Gemini Jets, made for collectors, dot, 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 by collectors. Then we have the produced under the license from Boeing Manufa Management Company. Boeing 737s are among the trademarks owned by Boeing, very nice. Then of course over here we have the side of the box. This is what the typical look for those in the day were, which is really nice. Here's the top, of course, barcodes and all that fun stuff. We're definitely going at that point. And then you got the left and the bottom with the registration number, which was really cool on these uh, boxes. And then all their, uh, Standards, which um, at the time were pretty solid, we'll say that. Here's the back of the box, which was really cool that they uh, had the about your collectible section back here back in the day, which is really nice. So of course you have all the applicable detail for the Boeing 77 right here, which is really nice. And then of course you got the Asriels against the Gemini Jets, the really cool cloud background. And then of course you have uh, another new title, which is very interesting. New airliners and aircraft are being added monthly. Please contact your dealer for the latest releases or visit our website, www.gemnijets.com. Uh, you got the recycle uh, logo and all that. Just 2001 released right here from Gemini. Very nice and made in China. Here is the top. Very similar to the back of the box. Pretty similar, just slightly differently formatted and some more Boeing 7200 details. So with all that being said, let's hop into the model. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the absolutely beautiful 1 to 400 scale Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the bowling shoe livery by Gemini Jets. This is a stunning model, just taking a look at the whole thing. It's super, super nice. They did a phenomenal job on this aircraft for 2001. This was superior, in my opinion. Uh, NG Models, I believe, did this aircraft in October of 2020, I believe, with the Delta A321s. It was definitely one that I wanted to replace, but I thought the OG vibe from Gemini Jets was just too good, and that's why I chose to keep this iteration and and uh, even though the NG1 was superior and really good, this is a nice throwback for the collection. And it was definitely a sufficient model because, I mean, just take a look at it, man. From the whole glance, uh, the color scheme is just absolutely amazing. Sorry about that. The mold is super nice. Just all the characteristics make this a beautiful airplane. And I really like it. So with all that being said, let's jump into it and talk a little bit about Northwest and their 757. Alrighty, so beginning up here, you have the cockpit windows and the really nice nose cone on the 757. And then you have a very interesting, but absolutely pretty red, gray, and white mesh right here. Very, very, very iconic right here for Northwest. This was a super cool mesh for them, and I think they did a great job with that. As you can see right here, we have the L1 boarding door. Sorry about the pencil. L1 boarding door right here with some pretty good detail. 2001 was obviously a very different day and age compared to 2022, so they did a really good job representing that. The nose landing gear also fairly nicely detailed for the time I can't complain that you have the red starting up there right there with the beautiful I don't know what the font uh, name is but it's definitely one of the older ones Northwest billboard titles then this is where you have your first class area right here as well which is super nice you have a nice big United States flag right there which is really cool as well and you got some different uh, ports and different things right there that they're representing panels and things like that which is very nice here is the L2 boarding door, which is also very nicely detailed. And this is where we go into the economy section. I would assume that windows are actually missing here. So good job, Jim, I just forgetting that. If not, um, well, bad job for missing it, but I assume that that's correct. Uh, it wouldn't be there for no reason. So nice job there by Jim, I just assessing that very cool. I believe these are the Pratt and Whitney 2037s, if the box was correct. So nice to see those right there. I, I, I wish that I wouldn't know the number off the top of my head, but those are 2037s. Thanks to the box for letting me know that. It's very nice and really good detail on the engines right there as well. Here's the top of the wing. Of course, that detail is very nice. Really good emergency exits right here. Very nice that they were able to do that back then. They did a great job representing that. And then some really good details with the slats, flaps, speed brakes, all that fun stuff. They did a good job. On the underneath carriage, as you can see right there, you obviously got a strobe light right there as well. But then, of course, you can see that you got good detail on the underneath of the wing, which is very nice. And they did a good job. A nice and simple and good main landing gear as well as we'll take a more in-depth look at here in just a moment. 
Uh, and then you can see right here the blue cheat line, dark navy, whatever you would like to call that, cheats into the aircraft down below right here, which is really nice. And it makes the iconic red, gray, and navy blue uh, lineup for the aft portion of the aircraft, which is super nice. A couple more panels right here, which look good. And then you'll find the registration November uh, 584 Uniform Sierra for this aircraft, one of the original uh, Northwest aircraft as far as I'm aware, I believe. And then you got the L2 door right there, which looks awesome. Actually, L3, I guess, technically, by definition. I forgot this was a Gen 2 airplane. Then you have the absolutely stunning Northwest Tell right here, as you can see. Nice and simple. It's all red with the older Northwest logo. Obviously, the newer Northwest livery kind of uh, changed the theme on that to make it uh, enlarged, but both of them look really good nevertheless, so that's really nice. You'll find a really nice horizontal stabilizer on both sides as well and limited but slight APU detail. On the left side of the aircraft, you're gonna find even more detail, which is very surprising for 2001. Here's some nice panel detail, which looks very good there. Here is a luggage door as well, which is really nice and easy to see, which I really like. And then the uh, second one also is really good. A couple more panels and various detail throughout. Here is the top side of the Boeing 757. Of course, you got some good details. You got one little beacon or whatever the yellow uh, would be in that case, which looks really nice. Then again, the wings look really good from the top down view along with the Pratt and Whitney engines, and they did a really good job on that. On the underside, we will find even more detail as we have the silver underbelly, which looks really cool. I think that turned out really well from uh, Gemini. Uh, very limited detail, but it does look really nice. Again, 2001, can't complain. It is a retro model review after all. We have the Gemini Jets logo. Now this was the blue and gray, which was very cool back in the day, which was very nice. Lastly, of course, you'll find the tail. The horizontal stabilizer is actually made into a one piece mold, just like the wing. This mold later did get changed to have the, um, the horizontal stabilizers as individual pieces but back with some of the original releases just like this one they were in one piece which didn't look too bad and definitely was a very nice addition to the aircraft so overall a very nice aircraft right here by Gemini Jets they did a superior job 2001 I mean you know there wasn't obviously much they could do but they sure nailed what they could including an awesome color a superior mold Great solid detail for the time, and overall just a great job by Gemini Jets. Very impressed by their efforts for 2001, and they did a superior job. So with all that being said, we have some history to dive into with the Northwest 757. So why don't we dive into that and see what it was all about? The Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200 was a workhorse for the airline for many years. Northwest Airlines began operating the Boeing 757-200 in 1985 with the first aircraft registered November 501 Uniform Sierra. This aircraft was named the City of St. Paul to represent Northwest's Minneapolis-St. Paul hub. Northwest Airlines acquired these aircraft to fly longer domestic flights and transatlantic flights from their hubs in Detroit, Los Angeles, Memphis, Minneapolis-St. Paul, and New York John F. Kennedy. Northwest began operating 45 of these aircraft but also acquired 16 Boeing 757-300s. The Northwest 757 fleet sold a variety of Northwest liveries including the Orient livery, the Bowling Shoe livery, and the Final livery. Northwest took delivery of their Boeing 757-200s from 1985 to 1988, followed by receiving their final few 757-200s in 1996. They received their Boeing 757-300s from 2001 to 2002. During the late 2000s, Northwest started fitting some of their Boeing 757s with winglets as well to make them even more efficient. The Boeing 757 was such a game changer for Northwest Airlines. The aircraft provided incredible performance, a perfect seating capacity, and solid reliability. Northwest Airlines utilized all these unique attributes to their full potential. During the Northwest Delta merger in 2008, Delta integrated these aircraft into their Boeing 757 fleet and utilized the aircraft just like Northwest did. If you're trying to distinguish the difference between these aircrafts, be sure to check out the registration prefix as you'll likely find your answer. The Northwest Airlines Boeing 757 was such a pivotal asset for the airline, providing decades of reliable service to millions of passengers. The Boeing 757 has made such a unique and game-changing impact on the aviation industry, and Northwest made a huge contribution to such a movement. So yeah, as you guys can see, the uh, Northwest 757 had a pretty rich history. It was a big part of the fleet and they did a really good job going over that. I always like to go over the details in the box, so why don't we go over those together? So let me open the pamphlet up right here and we can take a more in-depth look right here. So this is the Boeing 757-251 right here for Northwest, uh, which is very nice. Delivery of course, Northwest, the construction number 26459. The line number is 715. Registration number, November 584, Uniform Sierra. The Pratt & Whitney 203. 
1967s as I was previously referencing. And then you get the rule update of the 14th of May of 1996, excuse me, with the first flight for the 21st of June 1996. This aircraft later did go on the Delta, of course, and the delivery date was 30th of August 1996. So nice intermission between the rollout and the first flight for sure right there. And there's some detail about the 77 if you'd like to pause to read that. And some specifications, 155 feet and three inches uh, in length, which is pretty solid right there. Not sure what the 178 means. Uh, oh, the 300, very cool, nice, okay. The wingspan is the same for both aircraft, 124 and 10 inches, which is massive. The height of the aircraft, 44 feet and six inches. So you're talking about probably like uh, eight people stacked on top of each other, something ridiculous like that, six or eight, which is a lot. The empty weight of the aircraft is 126,000 uh, pounds uh, with 160 additional, which is insane. Cruising speed of 550 miles per hour, which is like 650 knots, somewhere in there probably. A spectacular range, 4,600 miles. The 753 was not quite in a superior in that department, possibly a reason it didn't sell as well. 3,600 miles for the 757-300. Seating, 186 for the typical mixed cabin, 240 feet. Three on the 757-300, 216 on the uh, 757 um, with the high density for 200 and 289 for the 757 300. And it's kind of important to talk about the 77 300 as Northwest was one of the carriers for the Boeing 77 300, which was very cool. They had a bunch of them. It was really cool to see them go into full detail on that, which was very nice. So, yeah, the Northwest uh, 757 is really nice. I've been very fortunate to collect some more Northwest models over the years. Uh, this year, particularly, I've got the Airbus A219 and the CRJ200, which has been super cool. Back in 2020, I did buy the Gemini Jets iteration of the Airbus A320. I did choose to part ways with that model just because of how don't want to use the word bad but how uh, it could have been improved but i could have kept it may be able to get it back sometime but the 757 definitely uh fulfills my bowling shoe appetite definitely plan to get more northwest models as well for retro projects such as tulsa, tulsa international airport uh, i hope to get an rj85 i'd really like to have an aircraft for that that would that seems really cool or another crj200 but yeah they had a big establishment the nith memphis excuse me i cannot talk today memphis detroit and minneapolis st paul which were some of the biggest hubs for northwest airlines as they had a very unique uh, set of routes i believe they also had some stuff going in Los Angeles and oh maybe some New York stuff not completely sure on that one but yeah Northwest was a great airline as you guys heard through the history they are just they had a superior run I always heard good things about Northwest and it was pretty interesting because they never actually had many I don't know if they had the Seattle base or not uh, I cannot confirm that. I would assume that they probably did, but maybe not. But maybe that's how the name originated. But of course, they expanded more into the uh, Midwest regions with Minneapolis, uh, Detroit, and Memphis, which were their biggest operations for sure. So yeah, uh, Northwest is a great airline. This is an awesome model. I would recommend that NG1 if you guys can find that one. But this Gemini one also is very nice. I do have behind the scene footage of unboxing this aircraft along with several of the others we've done in the retro model reviews. Um, back in 2017 for my birthday, I got several retro planes i thought that i was sufficient on modern planes little did i know that i wasn't but i did want to change it up and i got some retro planes like this one the american dc 10 american 707 and i do have an iphone video it's not very good but i do have an iphone video unboxing all those so if you guys are interested in seeing that for some behind the scenes content sometime let me know and we may be able to make that happen but yeah the northwest 757 is a beautiful plane so glad to have my fleet it is an absolute unit and it is an awesome aircraft so what a unit this is. What a pretty plane. Very glad to have it. And it is an awesome plane. So yeah, uh, that will do it for today's retro model review. Let me know if you guys have any found memories with Northwest and just how awesome an airline they were. Even more recent stuff with Delta because obviously they merged in Delta. Turned into a big operation for them and now they're just going strong as it is. So yeah, with all that being said, that will do it for today's retro model review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.